Structural poverty are those systems that are put in place to trap people. It's not designed for people to have access to opportunity. If you have, you get more. If you don't have anything, you won't get anything. In my work, I see a lot of poverty. And I see a lot of inequality, especially in rural communities. They put a sewage lagoon next to a black community where the value of those homes would never be what they could have been. A young woman who's part of the New Poor People's Campaign, she's living with two children, income less than $1,000 a month. I've been living in Alabama all my life, Lowndes County, Alabama. And well, I remain living. My mama also lived in the mobile home too. In the wintertime, it gets so cold, and my mama caught pneumonia in this trailer, and she died from it. I know I need me somewhere else to stay. These people did us wrong about charging us all the money for the mobile home. $114,000, and I just still owe $15,000. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. You know, when we use the expression that it is very expensive to be poor, this is what we're talking about. The word poverty is something that is not talked about very often in the United States. Uh, today we're in Lowndes County, in an African-American community. Tomorrow we could be in California in a Latino community. And the next day we can be in West Virginia in a white community. And the story is the same. We have tens of millions of people in the richest country in the history of the world who are struggling every single day to take care of their families in the most basic way. We won't forget you, Pamela. Thank you so much. <laughs> this means so much. This Thank is, you. This is just the beginning. You know, we have to get attention to the issue. And then we got to do something about it.